NASA's space shuttle still operates on software written in the 1970s, and this isn't due to outdated technology, but rather because the system was built for reliability and efficiency from the start. This legacy code was created when every line had to be optimized for hardware with extremely limited resources. Where was tightly integrated with the shuttle's hardware design, meaning that each component of the system was developed together. Changing the code now would require a complete overhaul of an interdependent system that has been proven over decades of successful missions. The software's design prioritized stability and predictability. Back in the 1970s, engineers worked with strict memory and processing constraints, so every command was written with precision. This resulted in a system that is lean, efficient, and most importantly, reliable. Over the years, extensive testing across countless missions has built an exceptional track record. The software's stability is critical because any error in the control system could have catastrophic consequences. The risks associated with updating or replacing a system that has consistently performed flawlessly outweigh the potential benefits of modern alternatives. Another key reason for retaining this legacy code is its compatibility with the shuttle's original hardware. The software was developed specifically for the computers that flew on the shuttle, which were designed with a very narrow set of capabilities. Modern software might demand more processing power or memory than these systems can supply. Instead of attempting to modernize a system that is finely tuned to its hardware environment, engineers have maintained the original code to avoid introducing unforeseen complications. This tight integration ensures that every aspect of the shuttle's operation remains within the safe and tested parameters established during its design phase. The decision to stick with the 1970s software is also a testament to the rigorous engineering standards of that era. In an industry where software is frequently updated and rewritten, the shuttle's legacy system stands out for its simplicity and robustness. The code performs exactly what it is supposed to do without extra features or unnecessary complexity. Engineers have built a deep understanding of its operation over many years, and this collective experience reinforces confidence in the system. In a field where reliability is paramount, sticking with what works is a logical and pragmatic choice. Furthermore, the approach to software development in the 1970s emphasized minimalism and clarity. Every function and command were deliberately crafted to achieve a specific task with maximum efficiency. The result is a code base that is straightforward, with no superfluous features that could complicate performance. This level of precision has allowed the shuttle's software to remain functional and effective, despite the rapid advancements in technology that have taken place since its creation. It is a reminder that sometimes simpler solutions can endure where more complex ones might falter. Thank you for watching. If you found this deep dive into NASA's enduring legacy of 1970s software engaging, please like the video and subscribe for more insightful explorations into the world of technology.